Okay, so I have some, I've got six um, ATC blanks. These are cut from a drop paper. And this is the odd one out, which is cut from scrapbook paper. So, and this is another drop paper that I've glued to some scrapbook paper to make it the right size. So, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them, other than an ATC, obviously. But I just thought we'd come on and maybe just start. Add in some textures to begin with, and then who knows? <laughs> so, let's go for this little bit of paper that I've got left over from something else. I'm just going to glue these down in little bits. I don't make a lot of ATCs, but I should. I'm going to try and advertise my channel a little bit more with them and share them with people. Have a little bit of fun with them. because there's not much going on in the background at the moment. Maybe you should put that there because it's got a flat bit. So that's a bit of that added. Uh, any of that. Let's add some of this tea dyed music paper. As I say, I've got no idea where any of this is going. Um, what shall we do next? What do we think? Grab a stencil maybe? It might be fun. 
grab a stencil and put some interesting marks in the background. Change my mind there. Put that bit on the top. Yes, glue is running out quite badly. To refill it, but that's a messy, messy job. a bit more interesting there now or stamping do we do stamping next let's add a little gesso in some places not all over just in some places to turn a little bit of that down and do I have a sponge oh a credit card. Well, it's not a credit card, it's a card of sorts. Let's just scrape. Some gesso. To turn down the background, give a little bit of coherence, give us a little bit of a resting place for the eye, all that good stuff. And then we can add some more stuff. <laughs> I'm thinking of grabbing a stamp next. Text stamp, maybe. Um, or a texture stamp of some. Oh, about making stamps. Yes, I've got a box full of those. Yep, we'll do that next. And then <coughs> maybe some stencils. And then we'll see where we go from there. A stamp, it's a little text stamp type thing. Just ink it up a little bit. Uh, oh, no, okay. it did sort of just about. Let's just press a little harder. Here we go. <laughs> you can sort of see it. Just a bit of background texture, I suppose, tying everything together. Decide next what my local images are going to be. I'll have a rummage through some stickers, I think. See what we've got nice. Okay, so that's that done. Now sponge. Grab this 
paint it was the first one I laid my hands on and I thought it went fairly well. All the colours that are in the background. And I'm using this Mac Deakin. I believe it's Mac Deakin. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, stencil. Probably do with a bit of a better sponge. There we go. Postman. Probably my fabric folder. <coughs> right. No. Just a little bit. Don't need to get mad. Just building up that background. Giving it some interest. I'm loving it. I'm loving it so far. It's a bit blotchy, but never mind. It's okay. There we go. So now it's not going to take the long for those to dry because it's a tiny bit of paint, very thin layer. <coughs> so that's our six so far. I will have a look through my stickers and see where we want to go. I'm thinking I might have some interesting fairies or butterflies. I'm not sure vintage images. Let's see what stands out when I look through my stickers because I have tons of stickers to use. So let's have a look. All right, let's see if we can put something together with these stickers. So these are the only ones I could find that I had a few of enough of to do with. It is these that had. Um, a solid background. A lot of my stickers are either like washy kind of <coughs> stickers or they're transparent. We can't get this one off. Which would, uh, they wouldn't stand out enough on this, on this busy background. Oh dear. Good. Some of them are the same, but that's fine. Absolutely fine. They're not all going in the same position. Not 
when you think about it too much I'm just putting it down Now I have some words to go on, so I'm going to try and use <coughs> some of these. Uh, yeah. Let's just use this one for this one. Now I'm hoping that these work on this background because like I say they are clear I'll try and put that on the lightest part let's see we've got these ones as well I might have to go and get some more stickers to be honest. It just doesn't feel like it fits. <laughs> off a bit too easy if you ask me. <laughs> Let me pop him up there and we'll have a think positive there. Because he's a positive little bunny. <laughs> uh, as we go, shall we trim the edges? Bears all look a bit worried. Only. So we got three left. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh dear. Silly be honest, be kind, that's quite nice. Uh, let's 
is have a good day on this one. And let's move him down. Where is this one? <coughs> see that. Uh, let's go for this one then. Make today awesome. There we go. <coughs> so. Things are really cute I think. Uh, yeah, I think we just need, whoop, to bring it all in with the squiggly kind of border. Straighten up that bottom edge. Oh, Ooh, dear, that's a bit rough. There we go. Oh, yes, I like that actually. That's just brought it all together. Funny how a little thing can just make you go, yeah, actually, that's good. <laughs> it needed that, definitely needed that. So next, I'm just going to fill out the little things that go on the back, and I'll show you those in one second. I've downloaded these, bought them, purchased them from... Mike Deacon's website as a digi download. They're just little ATC backs. You just download them and print them off. You can print them off on sticker paper, which would probably be a little easier, but I haven't done that. I've just printed them off onto normal paper. Very messy one. ATC bags are just here. This one's a bit crumpled, but that's okay. So, title date. So, title, I think I'm going to title these Positivity. Thirteenth of the seventh, twenty-four, and we're gonna have one of six, and then mining, and then I'm gonna pop my little <coughs> YouTube channel thing. I 
I always find when I'm trying to copy, you know, do write something several times, I always mess it up. I feel like I'm trying to skip ahead. Like I've already done that. You know, my brain's going. Yeah, you've already written that. <laughs> so there we go. You know, <laughs> uh, where's another? Here we go. I got this stamp made. Um, on Teemu. And uh, it just reminds me of my. I can never remember my YouTube channel. No, I don't have to. <laughs> These are some little cards that I made just to slip into some books that are going to the charity shop. With cute little bookmarks. I bought a book while I was on holiday and it had a just a little piece of paper that I'm pretty sure was cut from a graphic 45 paper pad and I was like, oh so cute. It was about that size with rounded corners. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do that too. So brain has gone very slowly. <laughs> Just trying to concentrate on what I'm writing. So, stop. Carry on in a sec. <laughs> stop. So, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Um, and, um, see you again soon if you would like to share subscribe like all of that I would really love to expand my channel I just found a sticker on my lap I don't know where that came from <laughs> strange so yeah hopefully you enjoyed that my vid my YouTube is full of all sorts of videos sewing journaling mixed media so yeah, hope you enjoyed and I will see you again soon.